This is City 7 News and here are the headlines at this hour. Funeral prayers held for Sheikh Ahmad at Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. UAE observes three days of mourning. And we remember his legacy. Funeral prayers for His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Zayed al Nayan were held at the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque after Asr prayers today. UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nayan was joined by members of the Royal Family and the Supreme Council. Those attending included His Highness Dr. Sheikh Sultan bin Muhammad al Qasimi, ruler of Sharjah, Sheikh Hamad bin Muhammad al Sharki, ruler of Fujairah, and Sheikh Ahmed bin Rashid al Nuemi, ruler of Ajman. Also performing the prayers were General Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, and Deputy Rulers and Crown Allah. Princes of other Emirates. Allah. In addition, scores of UAE citizens and residents also took part in the prayers. The deceased was laid to rest at the graveyard in Al Batin in Abu Dhabi. حكام الإمارات والشيوخ صلاة الجنازة على روح مان الطاهر إلى أن يوار الثرى يحمل الجثمان على ال أكتاف ويحمله إخوانه وأصحاب السمو أبناء زائد الخير الذي رحل عن دنيا the three-day mourning period announced by the Ministry of Presidential Affairs starts today. Flags across the country will be kept at half-mast during this period. Heads of states of Sudan, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Commerce Islands, Egypt, Jordan, South Korea, Algeria, Eritrea, Spain and Lebanon have sent cables of condolence to the presidential palace. Sheikh Ahmed was the managing director of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, but he was also known for his charitable legacy as the chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Zayed Foundation for Charity and Humanitarian Works. His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Zayed Al Nayan was born in 1969 in Alain. He graduated from the UAE University and then joined Abu Dhabi Investment Authority in 1994. Within a matter of three years, he was appointed as the managing director of the ADIA. In 2009, he was ranked 27th on the Forbes list of the world's most powerful people. His Highness Sheikh Ahmad always avoided the limelight and gave very rare statements to the media. A number of people who closely worked with him for ADIA said that he was very humble and unpretentious highly accurate and realistic in organizing and planning. He was also praised for teaching his employees orderliness, saying that it was above all personal considerations. Other colleagues have said that changes made throughout his tenure at ADIA were essential and focused on human resources and the development of qualified people and encouraging national resources. Throughout his career, Sheikh Ahmad made significant and practical changes, making ADIA one of the most powerful companies in the world. But it wasn't just his company that kept him busy. This picture of late Sheikh Ahmad bin Zayed Al Nayan at a children's hospital is a reflection of the great humanitarian in him. His death has come as a shock to the nation's humanitarian movement. City 7 News Bureau Report
Abu Dhabi Festival 2010 has announced the cancellation of its events during the period of official mourning. The cancelled events include a night at the ballet, which was scheduled for last night, pictures reframed and Yundi Lee's piano recital as part of the Chopin Bicentennial celebration. All tickets for the events will be refunded. Meanwhile, the Emirates Centre for Strategic Studies and Researches has also cancelled all its activities and the Abu Dhabi Authority for Culture and Heritage has postponed the ceremony of a Million Poets Festival, which is supposed to begin this evening. It's time now for a short break. Up next, we take a look at new initiatives taken to prevent child abuse.